Would you agree with his statement about evolution and its purpose to get you to the state to reproduce and not necessarily to get you to have a long and healthy life? Well, so that if you agree with that, would you think that is not evidence for what would be a good and healthy diet for longevity? Or even maximizing health span. When I was in Wisconsin and we came up to this Airbnb, this old farmhouse, it was just covered with ladybugs. They were all mating. By the morning, they're all dead on the ground. However long we're here, I don't know. I mean, I see infinite numbers of sperm eggs that never mate, embryos that never make it to a baby. But I do agree that we're not here for a long time. We're here for a reproductive time. But I think most of the listeners, they're going to be interested in reproduction, certainly. Yes. And then they're also going to be interested in how can they compress the number of years where they're affected by chronic disease and their kids are affected by chronic disease so they have more time to live high quality of life. And I think it's a, a very noble pursuit and we're on the same yeah, pursuit yeah. right we're coming at this from from 100%. different angles what i'm hearing from you is that you like to have this overall story with certain data points but yet when ansel keys comes up you seem to have like a firm position on his research but mm. have you taken the time to look through all of his research and fully understand what was his contribution to nutrition science did he actually investigate not what's on a blog what do the the actual studies that ansel keys published what do they show so what I find on the internet is a lot of people have very strong views about these topics, but they haven't taken the one or two weeks to look through.